सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई न्यू वीडियो सो गाइज एज यू रिमेंबर लास्ट टाइम वी ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट रेडियो ग्रुप एंड रेडियो बटन सो इफ यू डोंट नो वट इज रेडियो बटन एंड वट इज रेडियो ग्रुप सो यू विच चेक आउट माई लास्ट वीडियो आई पुर डिस्क्रिप्शन आई पुर लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू चेक आउट सो बैक टू दिस टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो वी विल वर्किंग विद रेडियो बटन ऑल्सो बट एज यू रिमेंबर गाइज लास्ट टाइम वी ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट रेडियो बटन एंड आई गिव यू एग्जाम्पल लाइक वेन एवर यू क्लिक on radio button that will message uh, like toes that which radio button you selected so in this example we're working with the same things but a different kind of example like whenever you click on radio button like i name it as uh, red green and blue so whenever you click on red that will change the background color which color you selected so without wasting your time let's do it so just guys open up android studio you always do so As you can see, I already taken my three radio button. It's called red, green, and blue, and I group together in a single radio group. And I just take already taken my radio radio layout here, and I just put it one ID over here. Why I give it ID? Because I want that radio layout whole radio layout for changing the background. So with the use of this ID, we can change that. So guys, just uh, open up mainly dot Java file and find the radio layout ID and variable. declare a variable over here so just uh, make sure that uh, you put inside xml file make sure that you put id over here relative layout and all the things so relative layout relative layout and radio group radio group and rg and just uh, cast it and find the id of relative layout and radio group So guys, uh, relative layout, and just uh, cast it and find the ID. So relative layout, and find view ID. R dot ID dot. And just uh, find the ID which is called as. If you remember, guys, our ID is RL, and now find the radio group ID. So radio group. And find the ID. just uh, find you by id r dot id dot and if you remember guys our id name is r a d i o s and just uh, whenever you complete this i mean you done that uh, relative layout id and radio group id so now just to make sure that you r g i mean uh, radio group dot set on check change button right so whenever you check the radio button like uh, whenever you click on red color i mean red button that will change the background color which you selected so it depend on selected check on listener so new on check change listener and now guys uh, integer and equal to rg i mean radio group dot index of child so guys i think you have question like what is a index of child so guys it's uh, it's like uh, whenever you want three radio group i'm uh, sorry three radio button put inside one radio group so it's index of child i mean child is a radio button and parent is a radio group so it taking the three radio button as a child so index of child and find the id and as you can see our id is check id search so just control copy and paste it over here so guys now curly braces uh, sorry now just uh, do one more thing now using switch case 
so guys if you want to choose multiple options like uh, whenever you have radio button check id or you can say check box so you can use a switch case if else statement whatever you want so in this video we will taking as a switch case we will use a switch case for choosing options so write a switch case and pass n and curly braces case 0 case 0 and just uh, do one more thing like uh, relative layout we have to change the background color of relative layout dot set on set background color and we use it in in this video we will use a uh, inbuilt color so do not need to take any external library or anything so we use a graphics open gl graphics so color dot red and now just use a toast like you aware that uh, whenever you click so you selected red right so guys uh, whenever you done this just copy and paste it over here if you don't waste your time so just copy and paste it and again paste it for a uh, blue button and just change the case whatever you name it and just color dot green because our second radio button is green and blue and guys as you can see our toast message is first is selected red and second is green so we have just uh, changed the toast message is called green and here is a blue so guys we almost done our application so like uh, as you can see we already taking uh, relative layout id and all the things find the id i declare a variable relative layout and i declare again radio group variable and i cast it over here and i make sure that you set on check change list not set on click listener so guys just make sure that you put it inside set on check change listener so whenever you done this just uh, convert into integer like r dot integer rg dot index of child and taking all the child from radio button and just uh, using switch case you can choose multiple options so guys time to run our application and after toast you just have to put one break statement in every single case and we done our find your applications and as you can see here is my application and just open it and whenever i click on red green and blue that will change the background color which is uh, red green and blue so whenever i used to click on that it changed the background color of relative layout as you guys can notice i already put one id relative layout and that will change the background color so whenever i hit that will toast the signal